Hi Ross and welcome in. Nice to okay. see you again. Hi, it's glad to, I'm glad to be back. Awesome, I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. So I remember last time you talked a little bit about your relationship with your student and some of those issues that you guys were having. Um, I just wanted to check in and see how it's been going with your student. Um, it's been going great. I know previously I talked about how he would embarrass me in front of the class or how he would tell me that he didn't want me to be his aide, um, which was very hurtful. And like, I feel like I lacked confidence at that time, but I recently like set boundaries mm -hmm. uh, and I let him know that I was going to be his aide for the rest of the year and that he had to sit tight and enjoy the ride because I'm going to be helping him and we're going to go through school together and whatnot. So after setting those boundaries, it was real, um, like everything has been going really smooth for us. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you were able to take some of the things we talked about last time in regard to setting boundaries. And you're, so you're saying that it helped your relationship with your student? Um, yeah, it actually has. Like not just for my student, but like my, I like my personal life too. Um, besides my work life, I've set boundaries with like others, but just with my student, it has because now he kind of knows the expectation and now he has to follow the expectation. Like I'm the adult, he's the, the student and yeah, he sees us as like equals, but he, he knows he has to respect me and listen to me and follow my direction. Um, so it's been going really well with him in like that regard. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that things are going very well with your student honor honor. That's, that's very awesome to hear. Um, I know you had briefly mentioned um, your personal life. Um, is there anything going on with that? Um, yeah, so I recently had some like a fallout with some friends only because I was just trying to set boundaries with them. Um, about like what I expected as like a friend and um, from their friendship as well. And they weren't following through on their end, per se. Hmm. Not following through, how specifically? Um, so... So like they would like invite like our friend group to go out and like go to concerts or go out and like uh, go to a party or go out to eat and they wouldn't invite me because they said that I wouldn't go but I was thinking how would they know I wouldn't go if they're not asking me <laughs> so just them um, not being able to communicate with me and talk to me I had to set boundaries and like let them know that I think it's like shady of them to not invite me places not um, like ask me first for anything in that like regard like for hanging out wise um, and they were really forthcoming but then they then they mentioned my boyfriend they were saying that they, they think I'm always with my boyfriend so that I wouldn't be needing to get an invite. Mm. Um, but yeah, that just made me a little upset only because I can make plans around certain um, stuff in my life. Mm -hmm. And if anything like my boyfriend can come with us like there's not a problem with that mm -hmm. but they just seemed like i was disconnecting from them because i had a boyfriend but it makes no sense because the others other people in the group who have boyfriends too and they come along with the group or they don't come along like it's just like a back and forth so i don't know why i'm being singled out because I'm always with my boyfriend, but 
So do you think it's an issue with your friend group or do you think it's an issue with yourself or do you think it's an issue with your boyfriend? Um, I think the issue lays on my friend group um, only because they I've been I've been dating for my with my boyfriend for a long time and they've invited me before to different events and I went out with them and I went to different places like throughout California and they still were inviting me and asking me to go places um and I was with my boyfriend during that time so my so my issue is why was that not an issue before and it is now mm. but I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I just know that there was this one instance where they did invite me and I did not go because I had a prior engagement and I like let, I let them know that. Mm -hmm. But then they were like upset that I wasn't um, apologizing for not being able to go to that event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was a little confused. Because I let them know I couldn't go. I told them like my other plans. And I think because of that, they either got jealous or upset and they wanted an apology because I couldn't go to that certain event. But I don't know why I would need to apologize. I was just like, hey, I can't go. I have this, this going on. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm excited for the, for the next time we hang out. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe they got mad. Yeah. It seems like you're doing um, a lot of positive communication with your friend group, but you feel that it, it's not reciprocated to you the same way that you put an effort to try to hang out with them. Do you feel as if they don't put reciprocate um, that same effort hang out with you is that what you're saying um yeah they i mean they don't put in the same effort and before they would mm -hmm. and now they don't because they feel like i'm gonna say no but i only said no that one time because i had a prior engagement mm -hmm. obviously um but yeah now because i said no now they assume that i'm not gonna do anything with them and that just made me a little upset because I'm like I have so much stuff going on and I'm busy and I have all my own things to worry about and now they're making this an issue when it shouldn't be an issue mm -hmm. so <sighs> but it's fine gotcha, gotcha. things are progressing in my work life mm -hmm. um, now my personal life is a little rocky but we're gonna get there you know we're almost, we're gonna get it to be straight and narrow, even though life is not ever gonna be perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotcha. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm like happy and just like, I enjoy going to work and um, I don't know, just something to look forward to every day is kind of fun because every day is like a new adventure with my student mm -hmm. and you never know what you're going to get, especially with, with like kids disability. So it could be a gloomy day and he'll be very solemn or it would be a happy day and he'll be giggling and laughing and singing songs. And so you never know, there's, there's always the in-between. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to go to work every day. So. so I'm glad you like your work. So your work's going well. Um, you had just mentioned your personal life. Um, things are a little rocky with your friendships. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, is there anything else that uh, you would like to talk about? No, I'm pretty much set. Awesome. All right. Well. Um, on that note, um, I'll end the session. Thank you so much for coming in, and I look forward to you to speaking with you next week. Okay, thank you.